history. You gotta think about history. <laughs> Yeah. You gotta think about history. It's like, what, what am I gonna do that's gonna lay down history, you know? <laughs> Give us something other than bluegrass. We, we know bluegrass. Give us something else, man. Try something new. This is your one chance to impress the world. How are you going to impress the world, Adam? I just see what he's doing. He's doing his thing, you know? Yeah. Can you imagine that as a philosophy for playing music class? It's like, you know, you, you, you just decided with yourself, every time I play, I'm going to play to impress the world. You know, I'm always going to play to, you know, top myself. It's like even if I'm just stumbling and, and learning, I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice it to the point where this is gonna be just absolutely impressive. This is like mind-boggling good. You know what I mean? Like, if, you know, what kind of artist would that be? And if I had the talent, the skill behind it as well. Sorry, I'm a writer. I, I like to think about stuff. <laughs> Not really. I mean, we're from the same womb, so we must got something linked, you know, yeah. <laughs> some creative spirit linked, you know. But uh, well, but I like to write. I like to, you know, and really. I think for a musician, for me, ultimately, would be to get to the point where I could do without thinking. Mm -hmm. Like, as far as playing an instrument, I'm a vocalist by, mm -hmm. by nature, so I can an instrument to second nature. Mm -hmm. So when this is the second, he just sits there and he does that like he wakes up and yawns and brushes his teeth and yeah. hops in the shower and his everyday routine after that is right now. It becomes a, it, it's, a it's a part of him. him. Yeah, it's a part I'm of him. Trying to make it's a part of him. That's why yeah. I do it all the time. That's, yeah, that's beautiful. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Like, not to be the most mind-boggling. It's not about that. It's like, uh, what is it? I, I, I can't explain it. No, I know what you're talking about. Uh, Pavarotti. When he sings, like, this is the way I heard this point. There's this guy, Wayne Dyer, who's, talk, who's a motivational speaker. Really neat stuff he talks about. But he says, you know, when you watch Pavarotti perform, he has this look of bliss on his face because he's so happy. You know, he's just, he's singing and singing powerfully. But he's like, he's in bliss. He's happy about it. You know, he's enjoying it every moment. So, yeah. And that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's a band from Finland named uh, Nightwitch. Nightwitch. Check out their videos or just listen to their song. It, it'll blow your mind. Uh, female, uh, it's rock and roll. Female lead singer, opera. So it blows Evanescence and Amy Lee out of the water. It's just like this epic stuff, dude. It's pretty crazy. Nightwish. Nightwish. I, uh, I got it at home, though. So I, I can find you on MySpace really. And you can find the videos. jaws right there but so but he he can't interact with you it's not uh it's like the drum would feel more free you feel like more free when you're playing the, the drum because you can use so much of your hand and it's like for him right for you you're not so free because you, you're not so free on that 
but you kind of are because with your one hand, but the other hand, it's like it's all about the instrument. So you, but you can get pretty free with that instrument, right? It's like uh, an impulse, you can create a sound. Musical. When you're being creative, that's when you should turn the camera on. And yeah. and also, it's like it's not so much for the world; it's for yourself. Because you can look back on this and be like, "What was I going for there? What was I, you know, what was I trying to create?" Or like, listen to it, like, "This is what I can create with," you know. Why you trying to show me? Thank <laughs> you. 